week was a violent one within Mississippi prisons, and the search continues tonight for one inmate who is considered dangerous. Good evening. I'm Annette Pegler. Dylan Williams, the guy you see right now on your screen, who escaped from the Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchman during a statewide lockdown, is still on the run. Five people have died so far in Mississippi prisons. In tonight's top story, local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy spoke to the family of one of the inmates who died and has their plea for change. Caitlin. Annette, I spoke with the younger sister of one of the inmates who was killed this week and an attorney who both say the prison environments need to change. They say although the deaths are tragic, they highlight a much larger issue going on inside the prisons. Take a look at this video taken by inmates at parchment, flooded hallways, mold, and simply unsanitary conditions. C.J. Lawrence is an attorney in Mississippi and the CEO of the advocacy group Black with No Chaser. His organization obtained this video from inmates who want change. What we understand is that you said that this was something that you had under control and it's clearly not under control. He's saying the Mississippi Department of Corrections needs to do more for these inmates that are in his custody. Between recent deaths and inmates on the run, Lauren says MDOC needs to maintain the safety of these people. It's critical that we uh, always maintain our humanity and understand that uh, you know, in these instances where these men and women are um, suffering an incredible suffering that human beings shouldn't suffer. Sydney Lester lost her only brother, Gregory Emery, this week when he was killed while incarcerated at Chickasaw County Prison. She says he would tell their mother about the horrors from an unsanitary living environment to vicious inmates he faced on a daily basis. Those inmates, they're treated like animals, so they act like animals. They fight for what they want. Lester says her brother was always paranoid he'd be jumped or even killed. She says he was seven months from early release when he was killed inside the prison. Whether Gregory was doing wrong or doing right, he was always treated as if he, since he made one mistake, that his life was nothing more than the mistake he made. And Mississippi Department of Corrections posted on its Facebook page today that conditions inside their prisons are stable. Live in the newsroom, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News. Caitlin, 